In this video, I'll show you how to create templates using the free version of Asana and how to manage that in your um, Asana world. First things first, what you want to do is log into your Asana, click on a project that you like to create templates in. And in my client's um, example, I have different to do in progress, almost there, blocked or backlog completed and untitled section. So what I'm going to do here is change this to template and then move this all the way to the top. Here is where I start creating templates. Um, templates are a great way to just kind of um, go in and create something that already exists in a faster way. If you were to have multiple um, clients, you don't really want to sit there and create each subtask again and over and over and over again, especially if you're doing the same task. In order to save you time, you can just create templates and um, kind of add as you go. There's no need to repeat yourself. Um, so sometimes what I what I do is kind of do that automatically on Asana. Uh, for the free version, you're not really allowed to do like an, uh, a template. Um, so what I like to do is create a template within the um the sections here so let's say the first step is onboarding um client the second step is um working with you know um is graphic design right is graphic design maybe my next one is social media and let's say i'll have one for off you know like uh for payment So in the onboarding client, I'm going to add a bunch of sub subtasks. So it's going to be uh, set up a meeting with client, send a follow up with client, um, and then it's going to be send, you know, send contract. And then that's pretty much good to go. Um, maybe the next one is set up, you know, set up a schedule for a client. So that would be my template there. And so every time I have a new client, what I would do is um, go into my templates. I can hide this if I don't need to see it. Um, and then I would just duplicate and right click and duplicate task. Here you can do task description, assignee, um, collaborators, projects, and everything. Um, so you can go ahead and select all of them as you need and then just click create a task. Here is when you can name it, right? So I will still leave this as onboarding client and I will just give my clients a name. So onboarding Celine. It's going to be sitting in the template here, but here I can start moving it to the to-do list, right? And I can create multiple. I can go ahead and do duplicate tasks again. And my client will be, um, my client will be Harry Potter. So instead of typing everything out, I will have all my subtasks ready and all my due dates ready. And here's, you know, you can just go in and start assigning yourself, assigning the person, maybe your assistant, or maybe assigning a graphic designer that you're working with. And you can use this method and um, do it for any other type of templates that you like. So let's say if you want to do a template for your personal room, you know, you could do... Um, setting an appointment for your haircut <laughs> if you really want to go that far but in here i just find it like the uh, easiest way to navigate asana is to just to uh, make use of what they already have and this is a great tool another thing you can do is just add emojis to each different um, client so that you know who is who is who so celine i would probably use like you know like a cat and Harry Potter, you know, I'll probably use like a magic wand.
There you go. And so this is for me, right? I, I will know exactly who, who I'm working on, when I'm working on them, and it will be a lot easier. And then I can also add like this wand into each subtask so that when I'm looking at my, my task, I'll see exactly what I need to do. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know.